Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ahabati fillah, if you want to know the minhaj, the madhab of the salaf al-salih and that's the madhab that you want to follow, the, the madhab of ahl hadith then you'll have to know that this madhab is built upon kitab wa sunnah and that this madhab is built upon ibadah, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And from those acts of ibadah that we can be doing now especially is qiyam al-layl. And that is from the sifat of the mu'mineen. And that is from the sifat of the salaf al-salih. And for those who want to traverse the path of the salaf, then that should be their concern. Not confusion about who's on it and who's off it, what he said and what she said. Listen to this ayah that Allah Azza wa Jal says in Kitab al Kareem, Qala Subhana, after A'udhu Billah min Shaitan al Rajim, Zuyana lin nasi hubbu shahawati min al Nisa'i wal Banin wal Qanantir al Muqantara. من الذهب والفضة والخيل المصومة والعنعام والحرب ذلك متاع الحياة الدنيا والله عنده حسن المآب قل, قل أنبيكم بخيل من ذلك للذين تقوا عند ربهم جنات تجري من تحت الأنهار خالدين فيها وأزواج مطهرة ورضوان من الله والله بصير بالعباد الذين يقولون ربنا إننا آمنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وقينا عذاب النار الصابرين والصادقين والقانتين والمنفقين والمستغفرين بالأسحار الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم he سبحانه وتعالى says beautified for men is the love of things they covet women, children, much of gold, silver, branded beautiful horses, cattle, and well-tilled land. This is the pleasure of the present world's life. But Allah has the excellent return, meaning paradise, with him. Say, shall I inform you of things far better than those? For al-muttaqun, meaning the pious ones, there are gardens there are gardens in paradise with their Lord underneath which rivers flow therein. Therein is their eternal abode and as wajin mutahara, you know, purified mates or wives. And Allah will be pleased with them and Allah is all seer of his slaves. Those who say our Lord we indeed believe, so forgive us our sins and save us from the punishment of the fire. They are those who are patient, those who are true in faith and obedient with sincere devotion in worship to Allah. Those who spend in the way of Allah and those who pray and beg Allah's pardon in the last hours of the night. So what we learn a habitifillah that from the sifat of the mu'mineen, and indeed that's the minhaj of the salaf, the minhaj of the salaf as salih the minhaj of the salafiyun haqqan, is that qiyam al-layl should be a part of our regimen, and piety, and seeking to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and seeking his favor in his paradise and spending in his cause and worshiping him in the end of the night and doing all acts of good deeds. Those are the sifat of mu'mineen that they covet the hereafter more than they covet this life. So this is a reminder for us that if you want to traverse the path of the salaf and that's a steep path, it's not simply a claim then these are some of the sifat that you want to strive to adhere to and strive to gain in your life. 
And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.